I've probably been an entrepreneurial scientist most of my life. I, I grew up in the dairy industry in Pennsylvania. My dad was a milking machine dealer, and we were always going out onto farms with milking equipment, you know, servicing, installing, and, and that sort of thing. And so I was always intrigued by new things, innovative things, trying to really uh, stretch the boundaries. My dad was quite inventive, and I think I followed, followed suit. So I went off to university and, and did some science and engineering degrees, but I always stayed close to that sort of inventive sort of side of life, and that's really what's always driven me. So when I graduated uh, uh, with my PhD, I, I had a choice whether to go into university or industry. And it was a hard choice because I enjoy teaching as well, but um, I decided to go with industry and I went to a startup company in Colorado, um, Denver, Colorado. And that company was making uh, two things. They were making biosensors for detection of uh, biological contamination in foods and even some biological warfare agents. And they were also had a division that was looking at uh, heat detection devices for cattle. One of my first inventions was, was this little device here. Um, that uh, we called mount count and uh, this device gets mounted on the tail head of a, of a cow and uh, when she gets mounted this little button gets depressed and uh, the farmer can see based on when these LEDs flash whether the cow was suspected to be in heat was actually in heat which was when she was mounted three times in four hours and ideal time to be bred. In 99 I came to New Zealand to set up a uh, a research program with uh, DEC International in online sensing of milk components, which was really where my, my background and most of my interest lay. And uh, um, after about, in that job for about 18 months, we decided to spin that off into a new startup company called SensorTech. And uh, one of the first things we invented in SensorTech was, was this device called CellSense for measurement of uh, somatic cell count online on dairy farms. And it's now on the market worldwide, um, being uh, sold by SensorTech through Lely Industries in Holland. When I left SensorTech in 2000, uh, end of 2006, um, we decided to start up a new company based on milk fractionation work that we were doing while we were with SensorTech and, and DEC. And uh, that product, or that work has culminated in this new product called IDP. And that's really what excites me as an entrepreneur is, you know, doing things that nobody else has done before and seeing them get onto the market. You know, that's, that's really what, what drives me.